Hello, and welcome to Planetas and Courses. I'm James Dunsmore. This is the first chapter of Introductory SketchUp for Planners. In this chapter, I'll provide a brief overview of the course, discuss what you will learn, and why you might consider taking the course. This course will introduce you to digital 3D modeling and its application for planners. We will be using the free version of SketchUp 8, which you will see on screen during the course. The next two chapters will help you get started thinking in three dimensions. Using a simple model of a house, I'll explain how planners and architects represent the 3D world in two dimensions. You'll learn how this is done in SketchUp, including understanding the user interface, the difference between perspective and parallel projections, and standard views. After that, the next four chapters will cover the basics of drawing in SketchUp by building a simple model of a house and a bicycle rack. I'll provide step-by-step -step instructions in how to use the program's drawing tools, and you can follow along at home. In the final chapter, I'll show you how to put the finishing touches on your model, including adding labels and dimensions. I'll also show you how to save and print your model with easy tips for exporting 2D images from SketchUp. After completing this course, you'll be able to build simple 3D models of buildings and other objects. You'll also have an understanding of how to read and create plans, elevations, sections, and perspectives. This course will also prepare you for the Intermediate Level SketchUp for Planners course, where you'll learn how to create real-world locations, analyze the impact of proposed developments, and create video fly-throughs of 3D models. This course is meant for beginners with no prior knowledge of the software. If you're already experienced with SketchUp and are looking to build on your skills, you should consider one of the intermediate or advanced SketchUp courses. If you're ready to get started using SketchUp and creating digital 3D models, then I hope you'll join me in the next chapter. Thank you.